Hi, Justin Thompson here at Smell Honda in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, here to take you on a ride along on the newly designed, brand new 2018 Honda Accord Touring. Come on. New with the Honda Accord this year for 2018, you're gonna have Honda Sensing that's standard on every single model. But here on the Touring model, you have the LED headlamps. And on the Touring model, you have the front parking sensors. We got the 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Trim accents on the Touring are gonna to be on the uh, bottom of the doors there. Very aggressive new style to the body on the outside and then also on the inside, which we're gonna to get to in a minute. This particular model with the Touring, you have the 1.5 liter turbo engine and also the 2.0 turbo engines as well. You have the chrome tips on the exhaust. And of course, a smart pass keyless entry system and a standard remote start from the factory. All right, let's get this thing on the road. So some of the features on the new Accord Touring, you're gonna have power windows, power locks, auto up and down for both the driver and the passenger. You're gonna have the memory seats for the driver's seat, position one and two. New with the 2018 Accords and the Touring model, you're gonna have a heads-up display unit. On the heads-up display unit, you'll notice the miles per hour, adaptive cruise control, LKAS is lane keep assist system. You have your compass, your RPMs, and then that symbol is going to map out any traffic signs for the speed limits. We'll actually show up here on the heads up display for you. Also new with the Accord, you have this scroll button here on the left hand side of the steering column. What you can do is actually bring us up anytime by hitting the house button. And you could start to display certain things on the left hand side here. The tachometer, your range, how many miles you have to empty, and your fuel efficiency, your speed and time. You have your audio, anything that you have playing audio-wise on the touchscreen will actually show up here. Phone, any inbound phone calls or outbound phone calls you're making. Your navigation system, that's the traffic sign indicator. We have driver attention level, which will indicate your driving patterns and uh, indicate if you're starting to get tired in the vehicle. And the maintenance minor, which is going to let you know when you need to get the oil changed. Safety support. And this actually shows you a lot of the Honda Sensing packages that you have. It will actually let you know which ones are on and which ones are not on. And then of course any warnings that come up, for instance if a seatbelt's not on or if you need to maintain anything with the vehicle as well. On your instrument cluster here on the left hand side, you're going to have the option to turn on or off any of the Honda Sensing packages. For instance, road departure mitigation is on right now. However, if I just press in the uh, scroll button, I can turn it off. We'll have that on, that's a nice safety feature to have. Also your blind spot information system, so you have blind spot monitoring on both sides. Anytime somebody's in your blind spot, it'll actually blink the icon in either one of the outside mirrors. And if you have your turn signal on, moving into either lane left or right, it'll also blink and it will be audible beep inside of the cabin. Also you have your collision mitigation braking system, which will actually slow the vehicle down to a complete stop using the braking system. If there's an object or a vehicle in front of you at a complete stop, pedestrians walking in front of the vehicle would also stop as well. Uh, at higher speeds, it may not stop you completely. We'll definitely slow down the vehicle to soften an impact. Get the new touchscreen system with the Honda Accord. Right here at the home button, a back button. That's gonna brighten or dim the daytime uh, screen, nighttime, and you have an option to turn it off completely. What's nice about the Honda Accord this year, they have all the tabs, it's a little bit different interface, it's much more user friendly in my opinion. But you also have a smartphone connection which is right here. So in the center console, you do have a USB port with a phone icon. You actually also have one here in the center console down below. Two power outlets by the way. Anytime you plug in your smartphone, whether that's an Apple or an Android, you're going to be able to play Apple CarPlay or Android Auto right here on the touchscreen and when you access that it will bring up some of the supported applications that you have on your phone and it's like having an extension of your phone right there ready to use. You can actually use the voice command and the long hold and use Siri or OK Google with the Android and then also you're able to text message hands free. We know that's an, you know, unfortunately a, a bad thing out on the road. We do see uh, people still texting while they're driving, which they shouldn't. So not only can we make outbound phone calls, but we can also text message hands free right from the steering column and uh, not take our eyes off the road. Now with the Accord on all the models, you're gonna have also the electronic parking brake and the brake hold button as we're all used to. Those are still gonna be with the Accord this year. 
So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the adaptive cruise control. I have it up here on the dash. All I have to do is hit the set button and whatever speed I have, it's going to start there. I can actually press up or down to uh, speed up or speed down. If I hold the button down for a few seconds, it'll go in five mile per hour increments. I am not touching the brakes right now. There's a car indication on the heads up display and the vehicle is actually going to stop itself right now. The system is braking it itself. I'm at 16 miles an hour, again, under the 25 mile an hour mode where some of the adaptive cruises will actually shut off. This is the slow down mode, all the way down to complete stop. Once I see that, it will actually say stopped up here on the dash. Once I see that stopped uh, symbol there, when traffic gets going again, all I have to do is simply hit the plus button or tap the accelerator and it will take me back up to the previous speed that I had set. Once the system does not indicate that there's a vehicle in front of you, in the heads-up display unit or in the instrument cluster, you have the car icon shaded in, indicating that the vehicle does notice that there's a vehicle in front of you. If that vehicle did veer off the road and the road became uh, open in front of you, that symbol would go away. It would be a dotted outside uh, line on the car, and then it would bring you back up to speed automatically. This is nice whenever you're taking your long trips on the highway. Here, let me demonstrate this for you. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus button. Not hitting the accelerator, the vehicle is doing this all itself. Really slick system. Really great whenever you're taking those long trips. It really helps out whenever you're going in the rural areas and uh, traffic does slow down automatically. You don't have to adjust your speed. It will do it all itself. So with the blind spot monitoring system on both sides, anytime a vehicle does come into your blind spot, it kind of hangs out into that area. It's going to indicate on the outside of the mirrors and it's going to blink orange. We're going to try to get a vehicle here to come up on us. We actually have an Accord here on the left pulling up. You can actually see that icon. So right now I have this Jeep in my blind spot here on the right hand side. If I decided to put on my turn signal, I don't know if you noticed that uh, audible beep but not only will it blink on the outside, but it'll also beep inside of the cabin, let me know to not get into that lane because there is somebody in my blind spot. Also, I have the lane keep assist system ready to go. This is separate from the road departure mitigation system that will actually work as well to keep you in the middle of the lane. They kind of work hand in hand. I have the dotted lines on my heads up display as well as the instrument cluster, and they're solid, which means that the system's ready to operate. If I start to drift simply into or left or right, it'll actually indicate lane departure on my heads up display here, or excuse me, the instrument cluster. I'll actually demonstrate that one more time. There we go. And it will actually vibrate the wheel and slightly, gently adjust the steering on the vehicle. These are subtle movements with the steering for the lane keep assist system and the road departure mitigation system. So not at any time will the wheel actually jerk into a, a, a very aggressive situation. These are very subtle movements. So just rest assured that you're actually able to override them if you need to. Another thing I'd like to point out with the connectivity with the vehicle, you have this little icon here on the dash. And what that is, is that's a, uh, a reader for the uh, Bluetooth connection. So if your smartphone is compatible with this, you can actually just tap the dash with your phone and it will sync up the phone automatically to the system. Uh, we may be used to this with your uh, uh, credit card. Sometimes you're able to swipe them at a uh, convenience store or a restaurant. This is uh, the same exact thing. You can download an application on your iPhone or your Android and uh, sync up with the vehicle uh, to run diagnostics on your vehicle, set up maintenance appointments as well find nearest Honda dealerships whenever you're on the road. Uh, it's a really cool system and I suggest that all my customers link up with Honda Link with their smartphones. Now right now I'm getting back up to speed. New with the Honda Accords this year with the 2.0 liter, that's the engine that we have right now, we have a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now the 1.5 has the CVT transmission which is the continuous variable transmission. The 2.0 model gets away from that and adds the 10-speed uh, the automatic transmission with 252 horsepower. So what's new with the Honda Accords, and they've gotten rid of the V6 engine with the 2018s. So in order to replace that pickup torque and power, they've added the 2.0 liter, which actually has just as much torque, maybe even a little bit torque, more torque and horsepower 
with the 2.0 liter turbo engine. So right now, it's a little warm inside of the cabin. I have my uh, cold seats on right now, feeling real nice, very comfortable, plush leather seats. The steering column with the leather wrap steering wheel feels very tight. And again, with the uh, road departure system, it feels like the vehicle's working for me all the time, which it actually is. So I can feel the steering stiffen up whenever I go into a turn to eliminate understeering or oversteering in a turn. So the vehicle's working for you all the time and uh, without you even knowing. A nice tight steering. The pickup is awesome in the 2.0, just giving it a little bit of gas. Real smooth transition up the speed. There's not harsh shifting through each gear. It's a very smooth transition through all the gears. We also have paddle shifters, by the way, so I can actually uh, shift up and down in gears. This is nice for the car enthusiast that wants to have a little bit more sporty feel or feel like they're in control when they're uh, shifting the vehicle. The Touring also has a sport mode as well. Some of the other models do. And what that does is that just changes up the gearing a little bit, gives it a little bit more torque and uh, a little bit more peppy feel on the back roads whenever you're driving. With the fuel efficiency of 22 miles per gallon in the city, 32 in the highway with a combined 26 miles per gallon with the Honda Accord with the 2.0 liter. By the way, the 10 speed automatic transmission is gonna be the uh, touch buttons for the transmission. So you won't have the shifter anymore. So you simply have the buttons for drive, neutral, your reverse button, and also park. I actually just put on my brake hold button and I'm in drive right now. And this will allow you to relieve your foot off the brake, which I just did. And all I do is tap the accelerator and it gets us going again. And then brake hold, again, I can keep on all day long. And as soon as I bring the vehicle to a complete stop again, using the brake on the floor and feeling that kickback in the vehicle, it'll lock it back up so it doesn't drift forward or back. This is great for uh, when you're in uh, heavy traffic. I don't know if you've ever sat in a vehicle so long in traffic that you put the vehicle in park because you're not moving anywhere and you want to rest your foot. Well, this is a way to eliminate that altogether. Again, we come to a complete stop, the vehicle's locked up, and I can take my foot off the brake and just relax until traffic starts to move again. Now with the navigation system, at any time you can bring up the screen with the map and it will actually show you what road you're on uh, without even uh, having to put in a destination. At any time, you can just hit this magnifying glass and it brings up uh, your tabs here for the navigation, home, search tools, saved, anything that you have saved uh, as a favorite, any categories, so if you're going to shopping, if you're going to a grocery store, an ATM, gas station, it's going to give you those uh, options as well. Right here in the center console down below, you actually have a wireless charger for your cell phone. So this is uh, built for Android and for any of the Apple users that have the, uh, the newer iPhones will be compatible for this. You can actually just set your phone on there and it will go ahead and charge it up automatically. So putting the vehicle in reverse here on the shifter, we have three camera angle views similar to the other Hondas. We have a wide angle view so we can see traffic coming from either side. We do have the cross detection with the vehicle as well. So if I have a vehicle coming behind the Accord, it's gonna indicate which side it is and beep as well as bring up a arrow button here on the uh, touch screen so I can see which direction they're coming from. You have more of a straight on view whenever you go to make your park. So let me demonstrate this wide angle view here. No traffic, so we're good. The dynamic guidelines do change color to give you a projected angle into a parking spot. I go ahead and turn it to the uh, straight on view, kind of line up the, the lines in the parking spot. And then this is my favorite. You have a bird's eye view straight down to the ground. That way you can back up right against the curb. Now you'll see this, it actually gives you an indication on what side the uh, object is that's behind you. Put the vehicle in park. And there we have it. I'm gonna demonstrate the pickup that the uh, Accord Touring has with the 2.0 liter engine. I don't think you'll be sad that the V6 is gone once you uh, notice the pickup and the torque here. I don't think anybody's going to complain about that. A lot of power, real smooth transition through the gears. Just a nice feel. Really excited about the new design for this year. 
the Accord is going to be tough to keep on the lots. I'm telling you that. Honda's warranty, you have the three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, and that takes care of all the internal features, which is really great because you got a lot of electronics in the vehicle, okay? You also have a five-year 60 on your powertrain. That's uh, engine, drivetrain, transmission, all the major driving components of the vehicle. And you might be asking yourself, why should you buy from Smale Honda? Well, we have a world-class, state-of-the-art facility, a really nice place to come and do business with, really friendly environment. The sales staff is non-pressure. Uh, management is uh, really a pleasure to deal with. Our service department is one of the best in the state. We also give half off on your first oil change when purchasing a vehicle from us, as well as lifetime free inspections. Very stiff steering, very responsive. It's a nice sporty feel. It's just a fun drive, not only on the highways whenever you're making your long commutes, but on the back roads. It does hug the corners very well. There is an upgraded suspension with the Touring model for this year, so you really uh, don't feel any of the bumps or any of the ambient sounds that you get outside of the cabin. You're not gonna hear that stuff inside. Really quiet, smooth ride. For those of you out there that really enjoy your stereo systems, this has a 12 speaker stereo system with a subwoofer. Nothing's gonna shatter any windows, but you got a great stereo system, a nice sound. So again, on those long trips or your short commute to work, you're gonna be able to enjoy some uh, really nice music. And that's the ride along on the newly designed brand new 2018 Honda Accord Touring. I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I did and the added features this year. If you have any questions, please visit us here on Route 30 in Greensburg and ask for me, Justin Thompson, or visit us online at smailhonda.com. Thanks so much for watching.